So we're going to move on with other kinds of factoring. And today our focus is factoring the difference of squares. And I know we talked about this some when we talked about um, multiplying binomials, but a difference of square equation is a lot easier to factor because the middle terms that usually are there when you multiply binomials cancel each other out. So anytime you see a difference of squares, which just means that the first term is a perfect square and the l second term is a perfect square and there's no middle term, you're going to factor it like this. You take the square root of the first one plus the square root of the second one and multiply it by the square root of the first one minus square root of the second term. Because if we were to FOIL this back out, we'd get a squared minus 6a plus 6a minus 36. And the negative 6a and the positive 6a cancels, and we're just left with a squared minus 36. So now let's do a few examples. So first we have to make sure that this is a difference of squares. Well, this, right now it's not a difference of squares because 3 is not a perfect square. But if you remember what we did last lesson, finding the GCF, you know that we can, if, if both terms are divisible by 3, we can pull that 3 out. Well, 48 divided by 3 is equal to is equal to 16. So that means we can pull that 3 out and this becomes x squared minus 16. And now it looks exactly like a perfect square. So that 3 stays out in front. We take the square root of x squared, which is x, the square root of 16, which is 4, the square root of x, which is x, plus the square root of 16, which is 4. And now this 3 you only need to put it out front because you remember multiplication is commutative so eventually all three of these things are going to get multiplied together and it's going to look exactly like it did up here okay so this next one might not look like a perfect a difference of squares but if you change the order around so that the variable is on the left side this becomes 2x squared minus 98 and just like we did with the first one, we're going to factor out that 2. We get x squared minus 49. And now they are both perfect squares. Because the square root of x squared is x, minus the square root of 49, which is 7, and then x plus 7. And you can always double check that you factored it correctly by foiling this out. So you'd get 2 times x squared minus 7x plus 7x minus 49. Those cancel, and then if you distribute that 2, you get 2x squared minus 98, which matches our original equation. So we have a couple more examples to do. So this time, you can see that we're not going to be able to factor that 9 out. But that's okay, because if you look at it, 9 is a perfect square, x to the 4th is a perfect square, and 4 is a perfect square. So we're going to factor it just like we would any other difference of square equation. We're going to take the square root of the first one, and remember when we take the square root of a monomial, we take the square root of the coefficient times the square root of the variable. So this becomes 3x squared. Because remember, if we square x squared, we multiply our exponents and we get x to the fourth. So t we take the we take this, which is the square root of this first term, minus the square root of 4, which is 2, 
plus 2. And we have one more example that we're going to do. And again, if you look at this next term, 16 is a perfect square and y squared is a perfect square. So we can factor it like normal. Take the square root of x squared, which is x. Oh. This is supposed to be a subtraction sign. I'm sorry. Because if it's a, if there, if there's a plus sign in the middle, it's not difference of squares and you can't factor it correctly. So we're going to take the square root of the first term, x, minus the square root of the second term, is 4y, and then x plus 4y. And if you wanted to FOIL that back out, you get x squared, plus 4xy, minus 4xy, plus 16y squared. Those cancel and we get x squared plus 16y squared. So that's all we're going to do with difference of squares. Make sure you come back and watch our next lesson where we're going to deal with perfect square, with factoring perfect square trinomials.